My next guest is a wonderful stand-up comedian who's come back from a divorce to tell us a very, very funny tale. She's a regular at Catch a Rising Star here in New York. Will you please welcome Joy Behar. <laughs> And I was reading the notes about your life, because yeah. we never really talked together. And I thought I had a lot of jobs and strange jobs on the way up. But, I know. Uh, well, you slept in your car. I never I did that. I slept in my car. Yeah. But uh, I know I used to work for Good Morning America. Well, that's not strange. Well, it's very strange, because I was a receptionist at Good Morning America, and I was extremely hostile. <laughs> <laughs> you know, 8.30 in the morning, Good Morning America! I, was, I didn't last there very long. I was fired, and uh, for good reason. Why did they? Fire me? Yeah. Well, because I don't think I was into the job. I mean, you know, we would have fun. I'd have all the women at my desk at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. We'd, we'd call it lesbian hour. <laughs> and that was, you know, they didn't go for it. So. Were you married or single at the time? I was married at the time. I was, like, you know, working through stuff. And then I got a divorce. And I got fired at the same time. And then I became a stand-up comedian. So you weren't a stand-up? It's a logical prog progression, isn't it? You weren't a stand-up till then? Well, not really. I would, like, get on stage and be petrified and then not go on for another year. I was terrified of it. It's so scary, you know. How long were you married? Oh, 15 years. So what's it like being single? I love it. Don't you like being single now? Not at this age. No, I do. I like it. Well, because you have a chance. Well, not... Yes, I do, I guess. You know, yeah. But on. I don't want to get married again, because I, I don't particularly care for it. I like having a man in my life, but not in my house. I don't want him in the house. <laughs> what to do with them. I'm on the phone all day long. I, I have things to do. You know, I have to put nair on my upper lip. I'm a very busy woman. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever put nair on your thighs? Oh, yeah. Well, I'm Italian, sure. <laughs> <laughs> and then you, you get the phone. The phone rings. You just put it on all, both legs. It's not a pretty sight, is no, it? And then no. the phone rings. You got to go like... <laughs> <laughs> Do you work out? Because you look very firm under there. Ah, uh, well, you... you've never seen me naked, Joan. Although you've begged me many times. Many but no, times. Uh, <laughs> no I, um, I'm not really that firm. No, I don't work out. I don't do anything. I, you know, I'm going to... I've been thinking of getting the plastic surgery. The only one that I would actually get, though, because I'm scared of everything. You've had a few things. Oh, uh -huh, tell yeah, me. Uh, <laughs> I have a whole other me in California. <laughs> <laughs> and her name is Phyllis Diller. <laughs> but because she's had everything, too. Everything, too. She looks great for it. Yeah, but aren't you scared? Like, now they put silicone in your face. I'd be scared I'd grow breasts on my cheeks. <laughs> I would. I'd be scared. Like, and now I read that, uh, what's her name? Stevie Nicks had the fat sucked out of the thighs. Yeah. And she should have had the snot sucked out of her nose. But, um... <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. Also, um, what's her name? Uh, um, um, Barbara Hirsch, she had the fat put into the... What are they, like, redistributing the fat around Hollywood, you know? <laughs> These actors think they're kissing Barbara Hershey. They're kissing Dom DeLuise's butt. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's got to do it. What? Uh, you compare yourself to uh, Heather Locklear. No, I don't compare myself to Heather Locklear. Heather Locklear is Compares just... Compares herself to you. She does, constantly. <laughs> uh, no, Heather Locklear gets on my nerves because she does a particular commercial that irritates me. Which is that? She comes out in a little string bikini and she goes, are you ready for the competition? I'll smack her. <laughs> you know, it's like, shut up, Heather. Go do something with your life. Go teach the handicapped, okay? Go save the whales. There's a lot to do. Get off my back. <laughs> but I don't like string bikinis anyhow. It looks like they're flossing their rear end. I know. It's it, a it hideous sight. Right. <laughs> <laughs> do you... Do you go on the beach at all in the summer? No, I, I don't believe in the beach. <laughs> <laughs> There's no ozone layer, you know? Yeah. And, and, and the, the, the water has garbage in it, so what's the point? No, I don't, I don't want to go near a beach. I'm just going to stay fat. Now we have Barbara Bush in the White House, and we can all be fat. This is how I say it. <laughs> it's who you compare yourself to. Don't you feel you could gain weight now? Oh, thank God. What about with Nancy Reagan? Well, she was anorexic. No, that was pathetic. <laughs> no, I can't. Barbara, this is the one thing about George Bush that I like, that most men just unconsciously want to marry their mothers. He actually did. <laughs> it's really, it's a Freudian victory. <laughs> Will you... Will you please come back anytime you want to, and we'll just dish. We'll dish, darling. <laughs>